Hedioha versus Uzodima court shouldn't impose governors on people, Oshiomole declares. According to Oshiomole, what Nigerians should rather worry about is to see amendments to laws that will ensure candidates who was rejected by the electorate does not find its way to the government house aided by the court. The APC national chairman pointed out that lawyers to the applicants failed to provide evidence that the vote declared for Uzodima was more than the registered vote in court. Oshiomole spoke to State House correspondent after his brief visit to President Muhammadu Buhari on Tuesday said that the law should be amended in such a way that no matter what happens, when people are voted, they cannot be dismissed as April 4. Thought there have some element of truth in Oshiomole's statement, yet we need to look at the verdict of Supreme Court claiming it could not be reversed. Wow. Well, um, Oshiomole has spoken. The national APC chairman has spoken. But with what Oshiomole has declared, are you not seeing an, a, a iota of pretense, high service in his statement? Because I see no reason why the national uh, APC national chairman will like somewhat be trying to support a PDP candidate who lost as a governorship candidate. Wow. Well, Oshomole, if you look at it, you discover that he has actually said something. But to me, why would Oshomole want to... Why would he be saying things like this against... It's, it's almost sounding like a word against the APC. Already... He was the one that introduced the winner, the so-called Uzodima to APC. He was the one that brought him to APC. So what is it even trying to say? Because I don't even understand. Oshomole is trying to like bribe the people of of PDP that he is a just man. Or see, we should just you see the country we are in now because we don't even need to trust anybody. I don't know. That's why they call it politics. It's a dirty game. Oshomole coming out now. Oh my God. Meanwhile, for Uzodima to have been announced as the governor, because seeing a lot of people reactions to Uzodima being the governor of Imo State. In fact, the Imo State citizen do not appreciate Uzodima being the governor in the first place. That means they are not in support of a APC. Or should I say they are not in support of the, the way it was being reversed for the favor of Uzodima being the governor of Imo State. That shows that there must have been a sign of mal malpractice. Yes, malpractice in the winning of the so-called governorship election given to Uzodema because for majority to be frowning against him that means the APC government has done something to tarnish the winning person who is supposed to be Yedioha so in that case what I'm trying to bring out is that the APC are never truthful people they are never good people they are not a good party that that always tell truth tell the truth because they had using this advantage because they are on top they had the one leading as the president is from APC and for Oshomole to be saying this this time around that Ehodioha because stylishly is trying to say Ehodioha is supposed to be the winner is the winner and you are the APC chairman can't can't you see that there's a kind of you no know, mischief in this 
No, I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust this party. Oshiomole, APC, Buhari, APC, Uzodima, all of you. It's only God that will judge this case because I don't know why you people will not be trying to. We are not. We are not children. You people should not try to dribble us in this country. You should not use politics to scatter things. You were the one that introduced Uzodima. The next thing, if you are telling us that the Ehodeoha's case, uh, because of the fact that his lawyers did not defend him well, that is why he did not win, that he, which is not supposed to be. So who, what are you trying to say? Well, I, I believe some people will understand what I'm trying to talk about. Well, let me hear your take on this and don't forget to subscribe, like, share for more updates. Thanks and God bless.